My name is Eric Jackson. I am the proud principal of Nathan Hale Middle School. Nathan Hale Middle School is unique in that we promote a, an arts integrated program of studies that supports the study of our core academics. And this year, we are now an international baccalaureate candidate school, and we intend to be fully accredited by the end of 2023. What I find the most inspiring about our IB program is it's really taking a global mindedness and infusing that with everyday life within the school community. So we talk about, um, we take a global issue such as climate change, and then we take that and we really embody that within the curriculum. So it's all about collaboration with each grade level team member and it's really project-based learning at the end of the day. So if we're taking a global theme such as climate change and we are putting it in the curriculum, that means that all our related arts teachers plus the core classes, science, math, social studies, and ELA, will all take that theme and collaborate and lead to a culminating project at the end of each unit. Students can expect to do a lot of learning that caters to the kinesthetic side of their brain. We will often partner with community partners and um, you know it, it stretches throughout the community. There's a service component to the IB program as well. So that does include taking field trips, um, field trips for service, but also field trips for collaboration. So I think if you look at the IB program as sort of a portrait of a graduate of Nathan Hale Middle School, it's who we want our students to be when they leave after their three years. So we want our students to be inquirers. We want them to be open-minded. We want them to be aware of the world around them, locally and globally. And I think we also want them to have a sense of their place within the world. And that's really what the IB program does at the end of the day. At Nathan Hale Middle School, arts integration is at the forefront of the choice model that we'll be providing. And with arts integration, it really is an opportunity for our students to construct personal meaning with the concepts and the content that they're learning, they're studying through an art form. And we have a wonderful arts integration coach who is working closely with our teachers and helping to build those strategies necessary to help really bring to life the concepts that they're learning in math, science, English, and social studies. Arts integration helps the kids to really connect their understanding of a subject with an art form. So instead of maybe doing a worksheet, they would get up and create a movement piece or create a visual art piece to show their understanding about a topic. For instance, in uh, science, they were creating atoms, so knowing about the protons, the electrons, the neutrons. And instead of making a model, they actually got up and moved together in the space and created a movement piece about that. What we're trying to do is get at the multiple intelligences so that students learn in different ways. So we have visual learners, we have kinesthetic learners, and you want to be able to reach all the different types of styles of learning. And also we're teaching to the whole child. So this brings in our SEL components and really gets the students working together in groups too. The showcase yearly, we actually get a chance to see examples of arts integration in all of the core subjects. So uh, something that I'm really excited about is the math classes and the movement project that we're doing. We're creating original dances around transformations, translations, rotations, and reflections. So uh, the eighth grade is all getting a chance to do that and create these original pieces that show their understanding of geometry. We also have a wonderful partnership with Digital Promise that is aligned with being a VIL school, a Verizon Innovative Learning School. The Verizon Innovative Learning Program is really focused on making sure that students and teachers have equitable access to technology tools, but also understand that those technology tools can be used to enhance learning and to magnify engagement. So one of my big focuses is working with teachers around how they're shifting their practices and their pedagogy to make sure that we are getting what we call here at Norwalk Public Schools future ready skills and that the students are making sure that they understand how to access the tools that they've been given from the Digital Promise program as, um, and as a Verizon learning school that we have a bunch of programs to offer our students including digital citizenship and um, 
the Verizon Learning Lab, which will be coming here in the spring. If you're choosing this school, I think what's really exciting is that you not only get a chance to have a, an amazing education in the core subjects, but that you get a chance to really connect creatively. So you get to use the arts and your core subjects together so that you're not seeing them as separate things. You get to have a lot of fun, you get to be up moving, and you get to just have a great time with your friends here and be able to be creative. One thing I really love about Nathan Hale is that it does feel like a true community and that the teachers and the parents and the administrators all work together um, with the common goal of making this a great place for kids to be here and learn. One of the big things that I want to do with technology is to create equity and to create diver and to help support that diversity that we're seeing. So equity is a way that we can give our diverse populations um, access to things that they normally wouldn't have had access to and to create ways that they can communicate and access those around them in ways that they wouldn't have been able to before. With arts integration, technology integration, and our newly formed International Baccalaureate Program of Studies, we are now poised to have a real true K through 12 continuum in each of those areas. And so our students are receiving these types of experiences at the elementary level, here at the middle school level, and at the high school level. And as they develop these skills and, and experiences, I'm hopeful that they will be able to move on and be college and career ready, ultimately future ready.